Hey everyone, it's Ashley here for your next stamp and I am back to share another episode for the Stamp Create Repeat series. Today I'm going to be making these really cute little rosette wands and these are perfect for putting in little goodie baskets or for putting in little birthday goodie bags or for putting in flower pots. There's just so many ways you can use them. My nieces really love getting these in their birthday gifts. So I'm going to hold each of them up so you can see them up close. This one is a cute little elephant one and it's, they all say celebrate coming from those cute little speech bubbles. There's a little horse one and I think I said in my haul video that that was a donkey but it's definitely not a donkey, it is a horse. And then this one is a little monkey and I also made this little lion one. So I'm going to get started by showing you all the products that I used to make these and then I'll get right into the process video for you guys. I used this Your Next Stamp ink. This is the Olive Black ink and I will have all the products linked below so that you can find them over at the Your Next Stamp shop. This is the Gumdrops and these ones are the Crystal Clear and Sparkle. They are so pretty and they have a lot of glitter on them. That set also comes with some that don't have glitter so you have both options. And then this one is my absolute favorite. It is Enchanted Garden and you get this beautiful teal green and a really pretty purple. So I'm just showing you up close that pretty teal one and I had green on the little horse one. For the stamp set, I used this set Stacked with Fun, and you get all of these cute little guys here, and then you also get the speech bubbles. And then I use that Sentiment Celebrate. It does come with coordinating dies that you can purchase separately, and they cut out all those little images and also the speech bubbles. And then I just pulled in this set. This is All Aboard Spring Carts, and I just used that for the cute little bow. I had used that on another project with the elephant, so I wanted to pull that in. And the Stacked with Fun set does come with that little bow, which is on the lion, if you want to just use that. Or you can use the cute bow from the stamp set like I did. I also used this die, and this is the Your Next Stamp Open Scallop Circle die set, and you get this really great little circle there, so you can use that for the back, and then I used that bigger scallop for the front, and I love this die so much. It's perfect for layering. Then I used these little straws. They're like paper straws. I just got those from the dollar spot at Michael's. And then I'm going to be using my paper trimmer, and I'm actually going to use it to score the rosettes because I don't have an actual scoreboard and then I'm just going to be using this score tool and this will allow me to make the score lines on the rosettes. So let's get started with the process video. To start off with I'm going to stamp out all of my images using the Your Next Stamp Olive Black ink and I'm going to start out by just stamping out four of those little bows. Then I'm going to use the Stacked with Fun set and stamp out the cute little lion, elephant, monkey and then also the horse and then I'm just stamping out two of each of the speech bubbles there's two different ones so I just thought I would use both of them and then I just stamped celebrate inside there and as you can see at the top there I did try stamping it out with some inks and I decided after all that I wanted to just stamp it with the black so that I could color in the speech bubbles to match the little bows so to start out with with that blue little bow I used B05 B02 and B00 and then I used the same colors to do the little speech bubble. Then I'm going to do the green bow which I'm using YG06, YG03 and YG00. And then I also do another speech bubble in that color combo. Then I'm doing a yellow bow with Y 38, Y35, and Y32, and a matching speech bubble. And then I'm going to do a pink one in RV14, RV13, and RV11. And then I'm going to make a pink speech bubble. Then I'm going to do the ears for the elephant in RV 13 and 11. And I'm going to use the same colors to do the ears for the lion, the monkey, and the horse. For the lion, I'm using Y 38. Y 35. 
and Y32 to blend all that out. And that lion is just so incredibly cute. Then I'm going to use R20 just to give a little bit of pink to the cheeks. And for the mane, I'm going to use E15. And I'm just adding in all the shading with that dark color. And then I go in with E13. And E15 there, and then E13. And I decided that I really like the E15, so I do go back in with that. But right now I'm just blending it out with E11. So now I go back in with E15 because I really liked it, that darker color. And that's the nice thing about Copics is you can go back in and go over your colors with a darker color if you want to darken it up. So now I'm putting down some E15 to blend that out. E13. And then I just blend that out a little bit with E11. And I really like how he looks. He's so cute. Then I'm going to do his little bow tie in B05, B02, and B00. I'm taking my black jelly pen and I'm going to color in his nose and it makes it black and shiny. And then I also colored in his eyes. And I gave three little dots on his cheeks. For the elephant, I'm using C8. And then I'm blending that out with C4. I wanted the elephant to be a little bit darker this time and I did have to blend quite a bit to get that C8 to blend nicely with the gray so it wasn't too dark, but I think he turned out really cute in the end. Now I'm blending it out with C2. And then I'm going to go back in with C4 and C2. And I'm just blending that out. Then I just use R20 for some cheeks and then I do fuss a little bit more with the color. I go back in with C4 and then blend it out some more with C2. And I'm really happy with how it turned out in the end. And then with my black jelly pen, I added the eyes and some little dots on the cheeks with the white jelly pen. For the monkey, I used E59 for the dark portions. And then I went in with E57. And E55. And then for his little face, I went in with E55 and blended that out with E53. And I went back in with E55 just to darken it up a bit and blended that out with E53. Then I used R20 for the cheeks, the black jelly pen for the eyes and nose, and then I used the white jelly pen for three little dots on his cheeks. Then for the horse, I'm using E18 and E15, E13, just for that top part there. And then for his little mouth muzzle, I used E55 and E53. And R20 for the cheeks. And then I used E57. And I'm blending that then out with E55. And E53. And then I went in for the bottom of his little hooves with W3 and W1. And then again with the black jelly pen for his eyes and his little nostrils. And then I used the little white jelly pen. Then I just added some little a line and a dot for the accent on the lion's nose and also the monkey's nose. And I'm just taking the coordinating dies and using some post-it note tape and my wire snips to cut them apart and attach them there. And I just love the coordinating dies so much. They are so helpful and it takes... So like such a quick time to run them through your die cutting machine and everything is cut out so perfectly. So I'm just showing quickly um, as I'm undoing them. That's like my favorite part is like the little reveal of them. And it's so fun to like play around with the pieces. 
So for the rosettes, I am taking some pattern paper and I'm cutting it out by eight inches by one and a quarter. And so you're gonna need two of each color. Here I'm just showing cutting out one of each color, but you will need two of each of the colors. So again, it's eight inches by one and a quarter. And then you're going to open up your um, trimmer there and then you're going to score it at a quarter. So you're just going to score it all the way along at one quarter inch. And you can do it all the way along. I'm not gonna make you watch this for all of them, but basically if you're making four rosettes like I am, you would need eight of these strips. So now I'm taking that scalloped die and I'm going to cut that out on the polka dot paper and you'll need to cut out one for each of your rosettes. So you'll need four of them. And then I'm just cutting in and across for each of these. That way it will allow for you to attach the two pieces. So I didn't wanna make you watch me cut out eight of these, but you will need eight of these little circles here because you're gonna need one for the front and the back of your rosettes. So now I have all of my pieces ready and scored and I'm going to start to make them into a little rosette. So you just wanna fold it back and forth, back and forth all the way. And you can decide how you prefer to do it. You can either fold each of them separately and then attach them, or as I'm gonna show when I make the next rosette, you can start out by attaching them and fold it all at once. Either way works fine. So I'm just attaching that little piece there with my adhesive tape. And then I'm making it into like the little circle and then you just push down on the middle. And for this part, I do use my glue gun. It holds nicer, I find, than adhesive because it can really like make sure that you get the shape that you want and then you just hold it down there. Be careful with the hot glue gun because you don't wanna get burned. And so I'm just going around now to the back and adding that piece on. Then I'm gonna take one of the little straws and you just need to push down the edge and then you can just tuck it in there and you have your little wand. So I'm gonna do another one so you guys can see. So I am at this time attaching the two pieces at the beginning and then I'm gonna fold them back and forth all the way. So there is our little green one. Now I'm gonna add some adhesive so that I can tuck it around and make it into a little circle. And then you just push down the middle, add in your hot glue there, and then you can add on your little center. And those centers fit so perfectly for rosettes and it has a little stitching border around the circle and I just love it so much. And then you can flip it over and do the same thing to the back and it just gives it a more like finished look to have the little circle on it. And then you just push down the edge of your straw and stick that in there and you've got another little wand. So I'm gonna do one more to show you guys. So um, I'm just adhering that there, folding them all up. And they're so fun to do because you could make these for all different types of occasions. You could make them for Easter baskets and use Easter paper. You could use them for birthdays like I'm doing or make Christmas ones or Halloween. They're just so fun to put in little goodie baskets. So then again, I'm just pushing this one down and then I'm gonna take the glue gun and go around and then you can kind of squeeze it in again and put that little piece on top. and then turn it over and do the same thing to that side. Then you can just take your little straw, smush down the edge and push it in and you have your rosettes. So now I'm gonna take those really cute little scalloped die cuts. I love them so much and you could use adhesive for this part but because I had the hot glue gun out, I just hot glue gun them all on. So I'm just adding those on the top there. And now we can add on our little stamped images. So I'm going to put the monkey on this blue one because I showed the back of that paper had little monkeys on it. So I thought it was fitting to put the monkey on that one. And I'm just taking my ATG gun tape and I'm just adhering on all the little pieces. And for this one, I thought it'd maybe be a boy monkey. So he's just holding that bow, but I did want the bow on there. And then I'm putting on the little lion. And I think the lion might be my favorite one, although I really like all the other ones too. I really like the elephant one as well, but let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite, the horse, the elephant, the monkey, or the lion. I love hearing which one is your favorite. It's so fun to like hear what all of you guys think. So let me know in the comments because I love hearing your comments. So now I'm just adding on this little elephant one and this would be so cute for a baby shower. That would be so sweet with that little elephant there. And then I'm adding on the little celebrate. 
So now I'm gonna take some ribbon and tie a ribbon around it. And so I'm gonna take two white ribbons for the like white straws that have the pink polka dots and then pink for the pink straws. And I'm just tying those little bows on there. This is just ribbon that I had in my stash. And then I'm just cutting diagonally upwards and it makes a nice finish on the ribbon there. So there is one rosette and it's so cute. And now I'm just putting the ribbon on this little horse one. And again, diagonally, just like cutting upwards. And then here is the little monkey one. And if you are watching this on my channel, make sure that you head over to the Your Next Stamp YouTube channel. I will have it linked below. There are a ton of awesome videos that are already uploaded on the channel. And also, I don't want you guys to miss next Tuesday's episode of Stamp Create Repeat because I will have another one next Tuesday for you guys. So now I'm taking those Your Next Stamp gumdrops. I'm obsessed with these gumdrops. They are so pretty with the sparkle on them. So I'm using the Enchanted Garden ones for that green and blue. And then I'm taking the Sparkling Crystal Clear ones and using those on the little elephant and also on the lion. And they just add some cute sparkle on there. And that is my project for this week. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys will try making some rosettes of your own. I will put all the links below for all the products that I shared and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye now.